In this short video, I want to show you how to access the citation tool within the library catalogue, which is a, it's a really great tool to help you with your referencing. So from the library website, we'll just do a simple search, OK? Explore collections and all resources. Make sure you've signed in up in the top right hand side. So I'm just going to do a very simple search for one of the best things to come out of Ireland in recent years. Dairy Girls, the TV show. So you do your search and then we click on the item, click on an item that, that interests you. And when you're in within the item, you can see these tabs and this is where you'll find citation. Now, the default setting is that it will be in the Harvard UL referencing style. Okay? But there are other options available too. There's MLA 7th and 8th edition. There's APA, Chicago, and there's a Harvard setting as well, but we stick with Harvard UL because that's what we want. So here you can copy the, this reference and pop it into wherever you have your, your reference list in Word or whatever, um, and you have your reference done there for you. So this is a, it's a wonderful tool. However, um, very important to note that it comes with a warning here in capital letters reminding you to check the citations for accuracy before including them in your work. 99% of the time there'll be some small thing that needs to be changed or corrected to ensure your referencing is 100% correct. And this is where I always say you don't need to know any of this off by heart, but just go to the Cited Right Guide and check your reference against a sample one there. So in this example, this is a journal article. Um, so the title of the article is in double quotation marks and that should be in single quotation marks. So that's one thing that needs to be changed. And then the title of the journal here, it's popular communication and um, the journal title gets capital letters. So communication should be in a cap, should have a capital C there. But everything else is fine. So just making those two changes in Word or wherever you have your um, you've copied the reference to will ensure then that your referencing is 100 percent correct. So this is a really wonderful tool, but do always check it against the site or right guide.